Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix a problem with the Samsung Galaxy S21 or the S21 Ultra. Cannot um, show photos or files on Windows computer and it is showing. This folder is empty. So I will show you a number of different things you could try to fix this problem. Now the first thing is when you plug in your device to the computer, make sure that you tap on the allow button as you can see right here. So tap on allow and you can see as soon as I tap on the allow button, then my windows uh, will show the folder and from there I can open up the folder to see the photos. Now uh, there, are, there will be also other issues that will cause you to have problems so I will go through you with you with all the different things you can try. Now another thing that you want to check is make sure the screen is not locked. If the screen is locked, it will not work. So you need to unlock the screen so that Windows can access your phone files or access files on your phone. Now you can also try to unplug the USB cable and plug it back in. Okay. You also want to try to swipe down at the top and then tap on USB settings. In USB settings, you want to make sure that it is set to transferring files or Android Auto. So if it is set to other options, then your computer will not show uh, photos or images and it will show as uh, a, an empty folder. So select transferring files. Now if you have recently updated your phone to Android 12, you might also want to do this. So click on the Windows button and click on Device Manager from the pop-up menu. So right click on the Windows button. In Device Manager, you want to click on Portable Device. So click on Portable Devices and right click on your Galaxy device and click on either Update Driver or Uninstall Device. So uninstall and then just simply install it again. So just plug in your device to the computer. So once you will plug in your device to the computer, you can either click on update driver and then choose search automatically for drivers. So click on that, then click on close. Alternatively, you can also install smart switch. You can download this from the Samsung website and open that. Then you can also click on the three dots at the top here and then click on reinstall device driver and then click on that so it says do you want to reinstall the usb driver disconnect the usb cable before proceeding with the installation we connect the cable after the installation is complete so here disconnect and then tap on the confirm button to install we install the usb driver and you can do that from smart switch so I so said, do you want to allow this app? Just click on yes. Okay, then after that, you can plug the cable back in and tap on the allow button. Now on the computer, you should be able to access your files, internal storage, DSIM, and a camera. Now another thing you can do is to swipe down at the top and tap on settings. In settings, go down and tap on about phone at the bottom, about phone. In about phone, tap on the software information. Then tap on the build number seven times. This will allow you to open up your developer options. Okay, so it's a developer mode has now been turned on. Okay, so once it is uh, turned on, we go back and we want to go into developer options. And in here, we want to turn on allow USB debugging. So turn on USB debugging, tap on OK, and then restart your device. So restart the device. So tap on the restart button and give that a try. Okay, so hopefully one of the options I have just shown you will get your phone working on Windows 10 or Windows 11 and hopefully you can access files or transfer photos to your computer. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.